One way of understanding this is that everything is energy, that our physical bodies in the manifest world is an expression of an energetic dynamic. Quantum physics tells us this. There's an energetic substructure, and this is, it's kind of a late breaking version of it. What happens here is really determined by what's happening in that energetic underlay. And grief is an energy. In Peru, the shamans I studied with there talked about it being something called hucha, this tarry, sticky, black energy. It jams up our system. And it's a natural thing. We love people. We lose people and things we love. And so we, we gather this grief and this hucha. We need to move it out of ourselves. And so when we think about grieving as an action of shifting and moving energy, of clearing, rinsing, opening up the channels so we can be present to the clear, creative energy that we want to move through us, gives us a different way of seeing it. It's, it's more pragmatic. Okay, there's grief here. I have to move the grief. How do I move the grief? I move my body. I get help with grief support. I spend time in nature. I make art. I do spiritual work. I do ceremony. I see a grief counselor. All of those are tools to shift this grief. Because if it stays inside us, it kind of festers in us, and then it leaks out sideways. It comes out as anger or inappropriate something because it's not really about that moment, it's about something else. You know, one of the blessings and challenges of my life, it has been a challenge for a long time, and now I've really come to be able to hold it a different way, is that in some ways I experienced the world through energy before I experienced it through material. And that I'm feeling and seeing those underlying currents before at the same time as I'm seeing what's happening in the manifest physical world. And that can be overwhelming because sometimes the outer world looks okay, but the underworld is not. And that's a, a real disjunction. And now I've learned to work with that and be able to use that capacity to see that for good and for health and for benefit. <clears throat> But it can also be a complicated way to live. There's a lot going on. <laughs> I had to be very careful about the boundaries because there's a lot of energy and a lot of information there. It can be overwhelming.